I bought this at the 99 so what I did was just cut half of it because you know you don't want it to be sticking out and I already have it right here in my little box I just have to get it off these things are actually real stuck Boy. nope I guess I'm gonna have to cut a new one so they're like double-sided tape ish um fuck I can't grab my scissors So you're just going to cut them in half, cut it in half or in fourths, depending on how many nails you're going to be making or whatever. It's like a whole little roll and it only costs a dollar. So you're going to apply it like this and then just like peel the top part off so that you can have sticky part up. I wait. And then you're just going to put pick a press on of your choice I'm gonna go with a big one because those I don't use them very much and then just apply your press on like so close your box because then you're gonna drop shit and we're going to pretend that this is already acrylic or if you're gonna do it on a press on then you'll do the same steps um, I'm gonna roughen up the top you can use a file if you want to or a buffer, but a lot of you guys don't have buffers right now at home maybe because all your shit is at the salon, so I'm sure you'll have a buffer. So you just want to buff it real good, make sure the shine of the nails not there no more because that will cause your gel to lift. And if you are doing this over... um over acrylic you do the same thing you want to make sure this buff I'm gonna use a lint free wipe and I'm gonna clean the top of the nail the dust I can't really function with my little my little nails they're all fucked up okay so I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna put um, a top a color hmm, let me see let me pick a quick color I don't know. I'm just gonna use this baby purple color. It doesn't it doesn't really matter with a color right now because this is just for show for the tutorial. And then some foils come more transparent than you think. So you wanna play with them in advance. Um because you sometimes you feel like oh, okay this this foil is pink so I'm gonna put a pink base so it can match but then at the end the base underneath shows up more than your foil and it's gonna kind of make it look darker so just play with them before We're, I'm gonna cure this in the lamp and then I'll be back and I'm gonna be using my Vanessa lamp fish because you know that shit is dope Ooh. Put in the lamp for 30 sec 60 seconds. Okay, so once you apply your gel and you're happy with the color, you're going to apply a top coat because, as you know, most gel polishes, I'm going to use this one, most gel polishes, they, um, they stay tacky and foil glue does not stick very well to tacky. So I'm just going to use this top coat and cure it again. After the top coat has already dried, I'm going to buff the nail a little bit because gel always sticks better to a rough surface like I mentioned earlier. And um, I'm protecting the color underneath. This color is super, super light, so you probably can't even see it on the camera, but it's really, really light. And again, I'm going to clean the nail because we don't want any dust to cause my gel to chip or anything like that you want to make sure it's nice and clean okay so now we're gonna go in with the foil transfer gel and this one you could cure for 30 or 60 seconds depending on your lamp um, and what I've noticed that the foils stick a lot better when the nail comes straight out of the lamp 
So you want to make sure that you don't fucking talk a lot and you place the shit right on the nail. So I would recommend to do like a finger at a time with the gel or two fingers at a time. So put that back in the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so the nail just came out of the lamp. I'm going to put my magnet finger right there. And I already cut the little piece of the nail design that I want. I'm just going to put it this way. So make sure that you try to put it as flat as you can. And then just use your finger to rub it into place. So if you don't want the whole nail to be the design, just place the gel wherever you want the design to go on. And if you miss any spots, you could always reapply the foil there because it's kind of impossible sometimes to make it super super f smooth but you could still fix that so I'm gonna peel it and ooh, ooh, girlfriend so right here on the side there's some of it missing and I'm just gonna go in with this piece and rub it on there And check. Yep, it came up pretty good. Oh, nail, go back down. So, check it out. Now, we're putting the top coat, but before that, I'm going to apply a primer. So, you want to make sure to apply primer onto the foil because um, it's going to create a little tacky um tacky surface ish instead of something very smooth because you guys all know that if it's nice and smooth that shit's gonna come off and for those of you guys who didn't know that you will know now and nothing should happen to the foil look it still looks good just make sure that your clients don't touch shit after this or everything's gonna get stuck so client if you're watching don't fucking touch anything please because everything's gonna get stuck to your nail honey and then finally top coat during your service you want to try to not touch anything don't eat anything be as still as possible because all of that will affect how your nails come out and if you don't sit correctly, your nails will not be as nice either because you don't want your nail tech struggling to do her job. So this is what it looks like after the top coat. And I'm going to pop this back in the lamp for one minute now. And ooh, honey. I'll, check, I'll show you guys after. So here it is. Nice and cured. And there are very small imperfections in the foil right here as you can see. But you could barely tell. Unless it's like super close up and shit. So you could leave it like this or you could add bling. But you know bitch is going to add some bling because she loves the bling bling. So I'm going to use the Zule bling adhesive. It's the best shit ever honey. And I'm just going to do a little bit of bling on it. I'm not going to do nothing too crazy either because I want the design to kind of pop. But I still want a little bit of bling bling. And I'm just going to use some Moonlight Crystals. Yes, they are Swarovski for those of you that are going to ask. I'm using size... Um, S's 16 and 12 and maybe a size 7 check it out honey so I'm gonna add a small one on the side um for the glue you want to make sure that you apply more than enough because sometimes it dries pretty fast so check it out that's the little cute design